what is up today we are making us some cookies and i'm going to go over the ingredients real quick to start because you know that's the most important part uh the butter that you use i don't really know if it matters i never really pay attention to it this is pure irish butter but you're going to need two sticks of butter and you should soften these first so like leave them out for a few hours before you start two eggs some brown sugar looks good smells good we're gonna use all-purpose flour and i think that's the flour you're supposed to use but i'm not sure i don't think it matters much i know if you use maybe it's bread flour it rises a little more you don't want that so maybe don't do that baking soda i don't know why ours is in a jar but it is some salt some pure white sugar some pure vanilla extract and that's all the ingredients you need you're also going to want a big bowl. I got this big white bowl. This thing's pretty chill. But we are going to put 10 tablespoons of butter in there, which is a stick and a little bit of a stick. And then get you a nice little knife. This is my favorite knife. I think I've already said that in one of my videos. But since there was a little left in the, the other one from it being so soft, we're going to do like maybe two and a half. Dang, I can't even cut with this. I need a different knife. All right, we got this knife. It's got the little, you know, those things. Look at that. Cuts like butter. Who would have thought? And that should be about another two tablespoons. Heck yeah. Next, we're gonna need two cups of brown sugar. Throw that in there. Heck yeah. Now we need one half of a cup of pure white sugar. Heck yeah, look at that. Looks like snow. Or, you know, something else that rhymes with cane sugar. Alright, now we need the two eggs. And I suck at cracking eggs, but I'm going to do my best here. I'm going to do it on the side of the bowl. So, you just get this, smack it there. Heck yeah, look at that. That was good. Let's see if we can do that with the other one. Nah, not as good. Still wasn't bad, though. We'll take it. And now, we stir it. I'm breaking up the eggs first. This should all mix well. And if the butter's not softened... It won't mix well, so make sure you soften the butter. And if you get hard spots of brown sugar, just smack them and they should break at least enough. Look at that. Now we add one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one tablespoon of vanilla. I'll stir that up for a little bit. Well, oh, there's a big piece of stuff. Now add a little over two, two cups of flour. Almost two and a fourth, but not, not quite two and a fourth. Now we stir it again. Okay, now 
I'm gonna show you all this because you see how this is kind of crumbly. When I stir it, it doesn't stick together. That's because it's too dry. And that means the eggs I used were too small. So if you get cookie dough like this, add another egg. Which you can kind of tell these eggs are pretty little. I mean, I don't know. But we'll add another one of these and then keep stirring. Get off me. And this definitely looks better, but I still think it needs another eggs, another egg. These eggs are really small, so it's probably like two eggs equals one normal large egg. So we'll put one more in there and it should be good. Now this is proper cookie dough. Just keep adding eggs if it's too flaky. And then once it looks like this, you're good to go. Oh yeah, that is good stuff. I'll just add some chocolate chips. And stir it in, heck yeah. And you know it's good when you can pick up the bowl or almost pick up the bowl by the spoon, but not completely. It wants to lift off, but it can't. Maybe if you made a smaller serving, you could, but this is too heavy. But heck yeah, that's some good stuff. All right, now that we've put some on a pan with some, with some uh, tin foil on it, we just throw it in the oven. And I was preheating the oven to 350 this whole time, so you should do that too. I don't know if I said that already. We'll just throw those in there and set a timer for 10 minutes. Bam, and now we wait. Here's a pro tip for y'all. So whenever you see that the cookies in the oven are starting to get brown on the outside, but they still look good on the inside, they'll still be kind of squishy, but the outside will be cooked. So that'll have a gooey center, but crunchy on the outside. And that's perfect. This is live cookie review time. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's real good. Make some cookies, unless you're on a cut. Then don't make cookies.